Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys a little story that happened in fourth grade. So, I was stumbling across music class, and I noticed there was like a little choir audition sign up, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to audition for choir. And I think my mom wanted me to audition for choir too, because she thought I had the most beautiful singing voice. And I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. I thought my voice was pretty good. I can still sing now. It's just I had a little slight issue when it comes to singing and choir in general. It's just I had a bit of stage fright. I was too scared to, you know, sing in front of people, you know, on stage. I thought it was like really embarrassing. There's a lot of eyes looking at you, staring at you and, you know, making sure you don't screw up or anything. But I I went to choir, signed up for the audition, and passed. Passed the audition, and we went to a lot of field trips along the way, and one of these field trips, specific field trips that I'm going to discuss in this video that is still engraved in my head, most of it anyway, is the time I went to several nursing homes for like a little field trip. I think it was like a little Christmas audition thing. We were still singing Excuse me, we were singing a bunch of Christmas songs. So the first nursing home I went to, it was okay. I was singing and stuff. I was looking around all over the place, just analyzing my surroundings. And when I was looking, I noticed there was an older man in the audience. He was in a wheelchair, of course, and he was probably sleeping, but not just sleeping. Sleeping with his mouth open. <laughs> he was like this. And I, and I couldn't stop staring at him for some reason. I know staring is technically rude, but I couldn't help myself. I was just, you know, concerned. I actually thought that guy was, you know, dead or something, not breathing. But maybe that's how he sleeps. Maybe he was dreaming really peacefully or something. Because you know that really, do you know that weird feeling when you sleep with your mouth open and you wake up the next morning and your throat is all dry and scratchy and stuff? That's when you know you slept with your mouth open. That is the most uncomfortable feeling ever. And other than that, that first nursing home wasn't so bad, except for that time that older man was just sleeping. But it was okay. That wasn't until the next nursing home I went to made me feel super uncomfortable. So we went, um, we went to that other nursing home, got into our positions until this older lady in the audience in a, another wheelchair, she was, I thought she was looking at me. She was looking at me and pointing her finger and man, 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 started talking like that. And I thought she was, she was mocking me or making fun of me or something like as a 10 year old little girl, I was terrified. I, I told my music teacher that I didn't want to perform in that nursing home because it made me feel super uncomfortable. Now I know she can't help it. There's a lot of older people in nursing homes who's got a lot of conditions and some of them can't walk and some of them have a lot, a lot of conditions going on in their heads like Alzheimer's or you know, losing their minds and stuff like that. But I was 10 years old at the time. I didn't know any better. I didn't know what was going on. But can you really blame me? If you were 10 years old and going to a choir concert, or not concert, or a choir perform, um, field trip, and you went to a nursing home and there was an older lady, you know, mocking you or just pointing her finger and just going, nah, 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 and stuff like that. Wouldn't you feel uncomfortable too? I know I would. It made me feel super uncomfortable and scared the crap out of me. It scared the absolute shit out of me. But now that I'm older and more aware of my surroundings, I know that those people couldn't help themselves. That's why they're in nursing homes and they're in better care. You know, you got adults taking care of them and, you know, watching after them and stuff like that. And that's a, that's a good thing. You need, because once you get older, you won't have the capability of taking care of yourself. You know, your bones are getting real stiff and 
your, um, your legs are starting to feel like jelly and your mind is going all over the place. You might forget a few things and that's okay. Sometimes you just need to retire and register to a nursing home and someone can take care of you until, until nature takes, um, takes its course and you can pass on to the afterlife. That's just the circle of life. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this weird story of mine. It's just I couldn't help myself of telling you guys this story. It's been in my head for a long time, and I feel like I needed to discuss it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.